Welcome to What is Going On in the UC. And today we are going to talk about True Mother. In order to understand True Mother, we really need to go back to school because, you know, we need to understand true love. And in order to understand true love, we need to even understand love. Because all of these words could be loaded with meaning and loaded with false meaning and loaded with misunderstandings. What is love? Love is what you do investing in the dream of another person. Now, somebody could have a very simple dream like a baby to get a breast put in his mouth and get some breast milk. Yes! And so putting that breast in that baby's mouth is an act of love where we are um, loving him centering on his physical desires. So you can love people centered on physical desires, you can love people centered on spiritual desires, you can love people centered on psychological desires. So true love is love centered on the universal desire to create the kingdom of heaven, the ideal world. So as we want to participate in the ideal world, we need certain things done in our life to get closer to that, to mature, to become citizens of the ideal world. And our heart yearns to give back to the universe, help the universe get one step closer to the ideal world. And anything that anybody does to help us in that area would be an act of true love. So sometimes true love could be like what Jesus did to help us get closer to the ideal world. Jesus gave up his life. Sometimes true love would be to, to um, you know, submit an application to the blessing so that uh, we could get a match and, and become one more blessed couple uh, that, that, that the uh, ideal world would come a little bit closer. Maybe we don't think the way Satan does or the satanic world does and we think instead of thinking boy what kind of spouse am I gonna get we think things like boy somebody out there needs a husband I'm gonna be that person's husband here I'm gonna fill out this application okay so that would be an act of true love especially if it came from that central heart that yearns not only for the kingdom so that I can enjoy it but the kingdom that we all can enjoy it so now we understand true love, but what, what is, what would be true mother? Well, true mother and true father, by becoming true mother and becoming true father, they expressed true love. Because human beings need parents. And because we've had bad parents um, running our lives, running, running our inner mind, at the center of our psychology, just destroying our lives, we have needed true parents. Now, the whole concept of parents is very important because human beings have a need for um, significance. And we are not significant because of what we do. We are significant because of who we are and whose we are. In other words, who cared enough about us? Who was interested in us coming into existence to begin with? Who actually created us? The answer to that question is, is a central part of our identity and our, our, our sense of inner peace. But as fallen people, we have felt you know, disconnected from any truth and our our, our source of our, the source of our life was not true. The source of our life could care less about us sometimes. The source of our life was Satan. And Satan is offended by the ideals embedded deep within our heart. Even God, the part of God that Adam and Eve could, could catch was still inside of all of us. So we live in a world of torture. So true parents, Reverend and Mrs. Moon, seeing that we needed, before we could be reborn into a different parent-child relationship and have a complete restart of our identity from the ground up. Before we could do that, we would need to have someone willing to give birth to us, to play the role of true parents. So in that way, true parents yearned to act out true love 
just by being true parents. Whether or not they were, um, you know, good people or had well-polished personalities, just yearning to do that for the sake of, of, of other people. Just yearning to be the gateway so that other people could come into a new world. That in itself is an act of true love. I don't evaluate True Father according to how well of a manager he was. I don't evaluate True Father or True Mother according to how, how well they managed the movement. Uh, I don't evaluate them according to um, many things. I, I could care less. The thing I care the most about is that they understand me in my core and they understand how much I wanted to be a child of good people and they they set up so many conditions that I could be attached to them and um, you know just that kind of intention being poured into this concept of my new life you know this concept of new life wow that was really deep for me and so I, c I really couldn't care about how well a uh, manager, I mean that really archangelic way of looking at the contribution of true father and true mother to, to think of how well they manage things. Yes, we know that they are lords, but even in the Bible it says that the words king of kings, lord of lords is written on his thigh in, in the book of Revelations. And that is the sexual region. That means he is the king of all of us who are kings in our own right. But he is the king of kings because he is the father of kings. The only person that a, a, a king would bow down to is his father who was the previous king. Right? So, what is the significance of true mother and true father? Is that they did what they had to do to give birth to us. And, it, and in doing that, they did what they had to do so that their sexuality was beyond the accusation of Satan. And they had to do what they had to do so that the womb and the seed was, was purified. And all of that meaning, all the victory of all the conditions we don't even know about, we believe is in the holy wine. That's why we went through the blessing process. That is why. Uh, we went through the three-day ceremony that we could be reborn and we need to talk about that a lot in the movement but um, I just wanted to make clear why true parents mean so much to me alright so talk to you later